Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Well, this morning I like to capture my thoughts with the word escape, never immunity. Now, you remember the, the, the story of uh, King Saul. I mean, when Samuel said, God brought an order to Saul and said to him, Now I remember what Agag, the king, has done. And you go and wipe out all the Amalek. I mean, just wipe those, all those guys. Just wipe them away and bring everyone to the sword. Don't ask me. I'm not God. I mean, so don't ask me whether it's right or wrong. That's God. Hey, please, let's not go there. But, but here's the interesting thing. And the Bible said, Saul, the king, spared Agak, the king, and the best of the sheep and the fatling of the, of, of, of the cattle. He, he, he spared them. And, uh, and when... When uh, uh, Saul, someone approached Saul and someone said, what, what have you done? And someone rained down the judgment of God upon Saul and said, to obey is, to better, is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams and all that. And has God gotten great delight in, in, in sacrifice and in obedience? So guess what? Your sacrifice is not going to, it's not going to replace your, your, your obedience. No, God's, God's, God doesn't want your hand. He wants your heart. So now, the, then the Bible says when someone says, so I hear bleating of sheep, and where is Agag? And then Agag the king came, and when he came, look at what he said. He, I mean, the statement he made was so funny to me. He said, surely the bitterness of death is past. I mean, like, whoa, whoa. I've just been through a harrowing experience. All my kindred, all my, 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 my kingdom, all the people have been exterminated. And all those that is more than a Nazi can forgive me. But that's just what it is. He said, well, they've all been exterminated. And then he said, surely the bitterness of death is past. Oh, wow. And then Samuel took a sword and hacked him to pieces. And then he said, because you have made um, other uh, mothers childless, you have rendered other mothers barren, you have rendered them childless by your wanton destruction of lives and killing of people. And then you, your mother is going to be smiling and saying, my son is alive. So you know what? He escaped when Saul was going, he escaped. But his escape was never immunity for his actions. It was never immunity. And so the things that he had done, you had rendered other mothers childless and then your mother was going to, no way. So you guess what? I mean, you, you escaped the sword of Saul, but the sword of Samuel is waiting for you. And that's exactly what it is. And sometimes there are things that maybe we escape. Again, yeah, the, the, the punishment, it is never immunity. One way or the other, if Saul doesn't get you, someone will get you. One way or the other, God will find a way of letting you meet your just reward somewhere else. Maybe not in the hands of the people you were thinking were going to uh, get uh, um, pay you, I mean, dish out retribution to you. That's not it. So Aga comes in a braggadocious way, you know, yeah, he said, yeah, surely the bitterness of death is past. No? It is past. It's waiting for you. So there are things that you need to come down to your knees right now and ask God for forgiveness. And sometimes you need to go tell other people. Someone said, you have made other mothers childless. Sometimes you need to go to some people and tell them, you know, I'm so sorry. The restitution. Because sometimes you may, you may escape the present judgment. But guess what? You are not immune from judgment in the final analysis. You are not immune. Well, the choices are always ours. So, see you later. <laughs>